Praise God. Hallelujah. We give God the honor and the praises. Shout Jesus. Hallelujah. We give God the honor and the praises. I'm going to do today pray against fear with confession. Amen. Actually, I wanted to name it pray against fear with your confession, but I didn't have enough room to put the word yours. Amen. So this is a personal prayer. Uh, there are people that are struggling with fear. This prayer could be for anyone that believes that Jesus Christ is Lord, that believes that he is the son of God who came and dwelt among us in the flesh. Amen. Praise God. And so I'm going to go ahead and move into this prayer and just give God the honor and the glory and just hope that whoever's listening will get delivered set free from the spirit of fear amen don't allow your carnality to get in the way of your deliverance command your spirit your flesh to subject to the word of god amen praise God. So we just give God the praise this morning. We just thank you Abba Father. We just thank you Father God because you are the Lord of our salvation. Father God I thank you because you are a merciful God and I thank you for your mercies that reigns in my life. I thank you Father God that you have given me dominion and power and authority here on earth. I thank you, Father God, that I walk by faith and not by sight. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, came upon me to eat my flesh, they stumbled and fell. Though a host should encamp against me my heart my heart shall not fear the war shall rise against me in this will i be confident psalms 27 verse 1 through verse 3 i announce that greater is he that is in me than he that is in the world i announce that greater is the one that is in me than any devil on the side of my enemies it is written the righteousness is bold as a lion by my faith in christ jesus i am righteous i receive my divine boldness the angels of the lord encampeth around about them that fear him the angels of the the angels of god are with me I have no basis to fear any man, any evil, any evil spirit, because the Lord of hosts is with me. The Lord of hosts is with me. He is with my children. He's with my family. He's, he's, he's with my finances. He's with my property. Anything that concerns me, God is with me. Anything that concerns me, God is with me. God is with me. I have no reason to fear no reason to fear in the name of jesus i have no reason to fear her father did not give me a spirit of fear uh-uh father gave me a spirit of love peace and a sound mind glory be to god i have no reason to fear for it is written the lord is my light and my salvation whom shall i fear the Lord is a defense of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Though a host of demons encamp against me, my heart, my heart will not fear. Though war rises against me, even this, I shall be confident. The Lord is with me. He's with me and with those who contends with me. The Lord is with me like a mighty, terrible one. I am not afraid. I am not afraid. I cannot be frightened. My persecutors shall stumble. They shall stumble. They shall stumble. Their everlasting confusion and disgrace shall never be forgotten. God has commanded me to fear not. Jacqueline, fear not, for I am with you. Thank you, Father. Over to you. Over to you, Abba Father. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is with me 365 days in a year. Every single day, the Lord is with me. Fear cannot have dominion over my life. God is with me. So I refuse to be afraid of anything. I refuse to be afraid of anything. 
You spirit of fear. You are not in God. You are not in God and you are not in me. I refuse to be afraid of you. I refuse to allow you to have dominion over my life and over everything that contends with me. God is with me. God is with me. I dismiss you from my life. I dismiss you now by fire, by force. I counsel you. I destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus said, even the very hairs on my head are not only counted, but numbered. Not one single strand can be removed without God's knowledge and permission. Therefore, mm -hmm, therefore, I put my confidence in the Lord who takes, who takes such good care of me and everything and everyone who contends with me in the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. That is the confession. I confess that and I put it in the hands of my father. My confession is established because I have already decreed his word in my life. So it's already done. Amen. Now I'm going to move to the prayer points. And the prayer points, uh, these, these have to be done consistently. Learn how to pray with the word of God. It's so important to learn how to pray with the word of God. Pray with fire, you know. Take dominion and authority with the word of God. Learn how to speak the word with fire you know the word of god is like a hammer that breaks a rock into pieces amen it breaks it in pieces just smash it it crushes it it destroys it it dismantles everything that is not of god in your life when you start decreeing and just start declaring god's promises and reminding god of his promises putting god first and you know everything that's troubling you, just put it behind you just put it on the back burner amen and just begin to decree and declare the word of god amen praise god excuse me my throat is kind of raspy amen praise god now we're going to move on to the prayer points um, concerning fear. One thing about fear, fear grieves the Holy Spirit. There's a ungod it's an ungodly fear. The Bible tells us to fear the Lord. Amen. But this is a godly fear. Fear in God is reverence. Honor him. Knowing that he is your father. It's just like when daddy will come home. You know, mama's been yelling and screaming at you. And she said, ah, wait till your father gets home. And then all of a sudden, you here daddy opens the door and then all you get into subjection into reverence and honoring your father because you recognize the head amen so that's where fear is concerning that fear but then there's an ungodly fear the ungodly fear is a fear that comes to torment you mm -hmm. comes to afflict you to oppress you to harass your life to cause so much grievance in your life amen this fear comes from the devil from satan lucifer it comes from the pit he wants to destroy you he doesn't want you to have nothing and he will use everything in your life that he could find to use against you and if you have fear against animals like frogs cats dogs he will use that fear against you amen if you if you're afraid of heights he will use that against you he will come to you in your dreams and torment you and harass you with heights i recall when i was a young you know when i was younger and i used to have these dreams where i would be on top of a building and i would look down and i would get so afraid i would be engulfed with fear oh i remember it i could i could still feel that feeling amen and I would look down and I would start falling. Then when I start falling, I would wake up real quick. And I would wake up with fear. You know, fear had me, had me in bondage. Amen. But praise be to God. Amen. Father, he delivered me. He set me free from that spirit. Amen. That tormenting spirit. That spirit that was harassing my life from the time I was a youth. And I would... um one day you know i had the one night whenever i had the dream again and when i had this dream i decided to fall yes i decided to fall and i fell and i didn't wake up i waited till i landed and i landed and it felt like my spirit had left my body and i was looking down at myself while i was in the bed sleep and i remember how i how it felt and i went and i went back into my body just went 
you know, I just came back into my body because I felt weak. So I went back into my body. And I remember how that felt. And I remember the experience to detail. And I woke up and I said, mm-hmm, I'm not afraid to fall. <laughs> I'm not afraid to stumble, amen, because I know God is with me, praise God. So I took, I took dominion and authority over that, according to Luke chapter 10, verse 19. I exercised the authority that God had given me, and I rejoiced, amen, not because the spirits of fear, those satanic spirits subject to me, but I rejoice because my name is written in the land's book of life. Amen. So we're going to move over to those prayer points. I just want to give you a little snippet for those who may be listening in the future to understand why it's so important to pray with the word of God. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I refuse to fear because God has not given me the spirit of fear. God has not given me the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. He has given me power. Amen. Power. Thank you, Father God. Power and a spirit of sound mind. He's given me love because love covers the multitude of sins. Thank you, Father. Over to you in Jesus' name. I bind the spirit of fear in my life. Whatsoever I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Fear is unlawful in my life. I belong to God. Fear has no dominion, no reign in me. Father did not give me the spirit of fear. So I bind you now by fire, by force. I bind the spirit of fear. Whatsoever I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. In the name of Jesus. I break every evil covenant that has brought fear into my life in the name of Jesus. I command every terror of night that has brought fear into my life to stop and move from my life now. Move in the mighty name of Jesus. Go! I command you to go and never to return in the name of Jesus. I command every terror of the night that has brought fear into my life, into my children, in every area of my life. I command you to stop. I command you to move out of my environment, move out of my atmosphere in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You spirit of fear, loose your hold upon my life and my family. Loose your hold upon my life and my family. Loose your hold off my property in the name of Jesus. Loose your hold off my blessings, off my health. Loose your hold off my fruitfulness. Loose your hold off my financial fruitfulness. Loose your hold off my matrimonial fruitfulness. Loose your hold off my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Loose your hold over my physical being. Loose me. Now, in the name of Jesus, for the word of God say, whatsoever I loose on earth shall be loosened in heaven. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father God. I thank you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I command all human agents using the spirits of fear to terrify me in the night to cause me to stumble and fall. I command you to go down by fire in the name of Jesus. What is causing me to go down? I'm commanding you to go down. You go down. For me to rise, I command you to go down in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The fear and terror of the unbelievers shall not be my lot in the name of Jesus. It shall not be my possession. For God said he did not give me a spirit of fear but a power, love, and a sound mind. The fear of terror of the unbelievers shall not be my lot. I am a believer. I believe that Jesus Christ is the son of the living God. I believe that Jesus Christ came in the earth and dwelt among us. He came in flesh. I believe that Jesus Christ is the Lord. He is the son of the living God. I believe in my Lord and Savior. I confess Jesus Christ as my Lord. I believe he is the king of kings. I believe in him. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father God. He came and dwelt among us in the flesh. I thank you, Father God, that the word dwell among us in the flesh and the word of God is in me. Great is he that is in me than he that is in the world. Hallelujah. Praise God. My tomorrow is blessed. Amen. My today and my tomorrows are blessed in Christ Jesus. Therefore, you spirit that is responsible for the fear of tomorrow in my life, I bind you now in the mighty name of Jesus. My destiny is attached to God. Therefore, I decree that I can never fall in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. My destiny is in the hands of God. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father God, that my destiny belongs to you. I thank you, Father God, that great is he that is in me than he that is in the world. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 
Praise God. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. For your word say, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expect end. I thank you, Father God. I thank you right now, God, for your word, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. I thank you, Father God. My destiny is attached to you. I thank you, Father God, that you know the thoughts that you have for me. I thank you, Lord, that the thoughts are peace in the name of Jesus. And I bind every satanic force right now that's operating against my destiny with the spirit of fear to torment and harass me. And I bind you now in the mighty name of Jesus. And whatsoever I bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. You are bound never to harass my life again. For my God said he has thoughts to think to. He knows the thoughts that he has think, think towards me. He knows the thoughts he has for me, saith the Lord. His thoughts are peace for me, not of evil. He has given me my expected end. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father. I thank you, Lord. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All negative doors that the spirit of fear has opened in the past. Be closed now in the name of Jesus. Every disease, oppression, depression that came into my life as a result of fear. Disappear now in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be intimidated. I refuse to be intimidated by any demonic nightmare in the name of Jesus. I refuse to be intimidated by spirit husband, by spirit wife, incubus spirit, sacrifice spirit. I refuse to be intimidated by you. In the name of Jesus, I take dominion and reign over you now. I break your powers by fire, by force. I destroy you. I disown you. I reject you. I divorce you. In the name of Jesus, every enchantment and inv invocation of fear being made against me and my household, I neutralize you with the blood of Jesus. I neutralize you with the blood of Jesus. I command you to fall down and die by fire in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, every enemy me in my home with enemies on the outside you shall not stand in my house today you shall not stand in my house today i decree and declare the blood of jesus over every area of my home today over the windows over the doors over every entrance over the walls the rooftop every Thing in my house is soaked and covered with the blood of Jesus. No enemies shall be able to stand in my house today. No enemies will be able to walk on my property today. My property is covered with the blood. Satan, see the blood. Passover in the name of Jesus. I destroy efforts of the enemy to frustrate my work in the name of Jesus. I destroy the spirit of frustration that comes to destroy me. I destroy the spirit of frustration that comes to destroy me. I destroy the spirit of frustration that comes to destroy me. I decree and declare the power of the blood of Jesus against you. I execute the power and authority of the word of God upon you now in the name of Jesus. I nullify every writing, agreement, or covenant against my name, against my name, against my ministry, against my family, against my finances, against my health, against my physical being, against my matrimony, anything that is coming against my success, I nullify you. I nullify you with the blood of Jesus. Anything that is floating around with my name on it, anyone who's using my name illegally, anyone who's writing my name, putting my name in agreement or in a covenant, an ungodly covenant against my ministry, against my work, my employment, my career, my education, against my children, my ministries, against my blessings, against my finances, against my fruitfulness, against my financial fruitfulness, against my matrimonial fruitfulness, against my life every 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 covenant ungodly covenant that is working against my future i crush you i smash you i destroy you i nullify you with the blood of jesus hallelujah praise god the father father lord huh Father, hallelujah, increase me, Father God. Increase my greatness, Father God. Send your comforter to comfort me on every side, Father God, in the name of Jesus. For you are my rod and my staff. Yea, though I walk through the valley of shadow of death, I shall not fear no evil. I shall not fear no evil. You did not give me the spirit of fear, Father God. Your words say you will not bring evil to me. You will not bring evil to me. You will give me peace. And I thank you, Father God, that you will send your 
a comforter. He will comfort me on every side. Amen. He will comfort me on every side in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, as you delight in, in me, Father God, as I delight myself in you, Father God, you will fulfill the desires of my heart. I pray, Lord, that you will bless me indeed. You will bless my works, Father God. You will bless my children, Father God. You will bless me, Father God, in every area of my life today, Father God. Everything I own belongs to you, Father God. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father God. You will bless me. Amen. Let no household enemy be able to control my well-being any longer in the name of Jesus no household enemy no demon no satanic force will be able to control my well-being any longer in the name of Jesus let those who are against me without cause in my place of work turn back and be brought to confusion in the name of Jesus if there's anybody right now who's listening and you're being troubled on your work in your workplace right now start speaking this word over your situation on your job amen just confess let all those who are against me without a cause in my workplace or my place of work turn back and be brought to confusion in the name of Jesus amen just start decreeing and declaring that word tell them to turn back tell them to go back to the sender amen go back where Jesus wants you to be in Jesus name amen I closed every door through which the enemies have been working against my life in the name of Jesus. And I, I, I will say this again through my prayer point. There are doors that we open and we need to make sure that those doors we are opening are the right doors. Amen. Father's given us the right keys for us to use, the keys to bind and the keys to loose. Amen. Be careful what you bind and be careful what you loose in your life. Exercise the accurate authority that has been given to you through Matthew 16 verse 19 and Matthew 18 18 study the word of God understand the power and authority that you have because through your confession amen if you're not lining up your confession with the word of God and praying with the word of God you are opening doors amen you are opening doors for enemies to come in to work against your life but I decree and declare right now in the mighty name of Jesus those doors be shut now sealed with the blood of the lamb never to be open again the enemy will not be able to re-enter your life again amen but be careful of your confession a lot of times your mouth your mouth amen my mouth your mouth lets things come in that is unlawful start speaking those things amen whatever you're speaking that's contrary to the will of god if you're saying you broke then guess what you will have poverty if you're saying you're sick guess what you will have diseases and sickness in your body your physical being will not be healthy you must speak the word of god you must speak the word of God. No weapon of Satan and his agents fashioned against me shall prosper. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Amen. No weapon that Satan can use against you or his agents that has been fashioned against you shall prosper. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We nullify every work, every satanic force, every assignment that has been assigned against you. We nullify it with the blood of Jesus. My life is hid with Christ and God. Therefore, nobody can kill me. Nobody can kill me or harm me in the name of Jesus. Nobody. My life is hid with Christ in God. Therefore, nobody can kill me. Nobody can kill me or my children. No one can kill my destiny, my ministry. Nobody can touch me. I'm covered with the blood. I'm covered with the blood, the blood of the lamb. I'm soaked from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet with the blood of Jesus. Amen. I open wide all doors leading to my blessings, victory and breakthroughs, which the enemies have closed in the name of Jesus. Father God, I praise you that I could walk into the doors, the doors that have been opened because I have favor with you, Father God, uncommon favor, Father God. I thank you, Father God, for your grace, Father God. I thank you for your mercies in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's so important to understand that when you begin to pray with the word of God, you should pray and have the desire to want to fast. Just like Esther. Esther knew she couldn't go through those open doors until she had prayed and fast. And when she had prayed and fast and she walked into that door, the king, her husband, her lover, her Lord extended the scepter to her and gave her favor. Woo. Isn't he awesome? 
Thank you, Jesus. Let every territorial spirit working against me in my neighborhood be frustrated, bound, and cast out in the name of Jesus. This is a very important prayer point. This is a good prayer point to do if you're going out and walking in the street. I do prayer walks. Amen. I started prayer walks. Um back in 2011 and I was taking dominion and authority over the territorial area where the spirits were operating amen so this is a very important prayer to understand that let every territorial spirit working against us working against my ministry against my finances against my business if you have a business and your business is not prospering this is the prayer point you need to use start going outside your business and begin to decree and declare this prayer point let every territorial spirit working against my business in this neighborhood be frustrated and bound and cast out in the name of jesus amen let if there's any crimes anything you can use this prayer point for whatever the situation is in your neighborhood let every power contrary to the power of god operating to suppress people in my area be neutralized in the name of jesus let every power contrary to the power of god operating to suppress people in my area be neutralized in the name of jesus and this is a good prayer point again to speak if you go out in your community and this is the prayers you need to pray when you're doing prayer walks amen i bind every spirit of frustration i bind the spirit of frustration i defeat and delay blessing and fear in my environment in the name of jesus and you need to bind the spirit of frustration that spirit of frustration when you get frust frustrated what you are doing you are opening that spirit that other spirit to enter in that is that spirit of defeat spirit of delay and it, it stagnates what god is getting ready to do in your life let me tell you something god has already done it amen you just got to have the attitude that it's already done v-i-c-t-o-r-y victory i confess every day i have the victory i don't limit myself based upon my circumstances i don't limit myself based upon what i see and what i hear i have the victory christ has already done it he's already paid the price so you need to understand that you have been blessed but when you allow your flesh your spirit to be anchored in the spirit of frustration there's your delay so pray that prayer point with fire i bind every spirit of frustration i bind the spirit of defeat and delay that is delaying my blessings and fear in my environment i bind every spirit of fear in my in my environment i bind the spirit of delay i bind the spirit of defeat in the name of jesus amen I banish every enemy of progress in my neighborhood in the name of Jesus. I bind the spirit of death and robbery and assassination in my neighborhood in the name of Jesus. I reject and renounce and destroy every agreement or covenant in the environment in the name of Jesus. And by the blood of Jesus, I nullify the effects and operation of evil forces around my house, in my city, in my town, in my village, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Uh, praise God. I'm going to stop right there on those prayer points. I hope they helped you. Amen. There's a lot of prayer points. But I pray that they have helped you. And I will do more as the Holy Spirit leads me. Because he led me to do this one. And I thank God. Because somebody needs to hear this prayer. Somebody needs to exercise their authority. That they have in Christ Jesus. According to Luke. 10 19 we walk by faith not by sight amen first corinthians chapter 5 praise god we need to understand the power and authority that we have in christ jesus making you know making those declarations you know speak life speak life if the doctor say you sit don't go on a, a, a on a denial trip whatever your sickness is put it underneath the blood know specifically how the sickness got there understand what you're sick of and then you take that and you say you know what father over to you in the name of jesus over to you for you said my body is a temple you said to present myself as a living sacrifice father god if there's any cancer any sickness and disease arthritis and pain in the body over to you father god i decree and declare healing now in the name of Jesus. It's your faith that shall make you whole. That's what Jesus told the woman who came and touched the hem of his garment. He said your faith. Just like blind Bartimaeus. He cried out Jesus son of 
God, son of David, have mercy on me. See, that was his faith. Amen. So healing comes with your faith. Activate your faith. Speak this word. Don't delay yourself. Don't allow the devil to defeat you. Amen. Amen.